Voting Diaz literally would make like every every person who bought from NPC would be making like at least 10 million coins. If the prices magically stayed exactly where they are, it'd be almost 18 million coins. Yeah, I don't know, man. There's a lot of dungeon simps out there with Paul. I don't think that's happening. Everyone vote Diaz. <laughs> Diaz has never been voted before. This would be the, literally the first time that Diaz has ever voted in. And then Iron Man players would be just drowning in resources. Oh my God. It'd be incredible. 10 E quartz blocks a day so Iron Man players can get Juju Bow. Bro. This actually, nah, people are sleeping on Diaz. It's actually, that's actually a good merit right now in the meta. What the hell? <laughs> it actually is. Uh, I got wisdom, but I'm kind of afraid to put it in my armor. I'm kind of regretting buying it, if I'm gonna be honest. You know what? Let's have fun with Auto Slayer. It's been too long since I've had it. So let's, let's start at tier three. Okay, chat. You just, you always want to rain on my parade. I never can have a victory. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, that's a bug. That's, that's a bug. I hate this game. <laughs> No, the dragon despawning killed my, it despawned my boss and my summoning ring mobs. Wow. You know, that's the most high pixel thing I think I've ever seen right there. And it still says slay the boss. Oh, my boss is bugged now because of that. T4 kills when? I'll tell, let me, all right. Before stream ends today, I'm going to try it again. I'll try it tier four. Probably going to get absolutely wrecked, but I will try it. We'll have full final destination armor with 25,000 kills. Well, technically not because the helmet has 10,000, but we'll ignore that. The difference of 35 defense is not that insane. As well as my talisman fixes, as well as the increased attack speed with like three hits per hit. No, four hits per hit because of the soul cry giving 300 ferocity. With the increased attack speed, it's literally going to be like eight hits a second, which get like, I'm going to guess probably around 800k damage because i'm not gonna have warden helmet maybe 700 times eight that's a lot of dps but i don't know if it's enough for a tier four enderman my biggest concern is the defense honestly but i did level up the armor quite a bit so maybe i've n i haven't tried a tier four with um 25,000 kill armor before so maybe maybe it'll work oh snap Oh, Chad, did you see that? <laughs> I just got a freaking summoning eye. Let's go check on Diaz. The thing's not updating. 16%. Come on, chat. We need more voters. We need more voters for Diaz. It's not even close. Oh, no. We need to like quadruple the amount of votes for Diaz to pass Paul. This is not going to happen. Yeah, you know, five mil in like an hour. That's pretty good. I mean, I don't know how long I was grinding tier threes. The first hour I was like showing things off, right? I don't freaking know. Even if it was five mil in two hours, it's not the worst. I mean, there's other methods that are better, but that one is not terrible. And the combat XP, it's just too bad because both of the pets that I'm using during this process don't need any more XP. Like, this Enderman is well beyond the amount of XP it needs. When enter combat, equip squid. When enter combat, equip squid. Will the Alpha Network have requirements to join other than MVP? I don't freaking know. I'm a little sussed out by the fact that they're bringing... Oh, hello that they're bringing back the alpha network because the last time that happened, they introduced an update that changed everything forever and made it difficult for me to make videos. So I'm <laughs> alpha network. If you guys didn't see my rant on why dungeons was bad, the first one way back when dungeons was new, I talked about how the alpha network basically ruined the hype for the update because everyone already knew what was in it. So I don't know. I, I prefer the alpha network not existing personally because it ruins the hype. And none of it matters anyway, because once you're done, all your stuff is reset. So I don't know. I'd prefer not. 
alpha network now it's one thing to test the update obviously they should test the update but i don't think the entire public should know about the update like a month before it drops that just seems like that just it just kills the hype man you know like I didn't. this is gonna be it the tier four fight i'm only giving myself one attempt this stream so if i do something really dumb that's on me this is gonna be i'm gonna be clicking so much here he goes void gloom seraph tier four 300 million health now i might remind you chat i have um three forts 25,000 kill armor and one and the helmet is 10,000. look at this uh oh we do be lagging don't touch the uh, jump rope <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. ow Oh, I oh, know he threw a glyph in the middle of that, bruh. Well, the problem that I see chat is I just, I think my health is honestly not too terrible. Like I could handle it with the healing. The problem is I just don't do enough damage. So I think if I level up my armor just one more time to like the 50,000 mark, then I'd probably be okay. The problem is then my damage. So then I'd have to get Adam split. Yeah, I was beacon. So if I got Adam split katana and leveled up my armor to 50,000 kills, I could probably survive the boss without a Hyperion or a dragon pet. That's the cheapest option I have right now is Adam split katana. Jesus. As well as like nine hours of grinding Enderman, might I add. Hey guys, I'm back for another stream and welcome to Hypixel Skyblock. <laughs> it's been two days since I streamed. I'm sorry about that. Anyway, we're back and uh, you don't want to know the reason why I spent two days without streaming. It's really dumb. Let's just say I misjudged the amount of um, a certain chocolate. I Anyways, uh, <laughs> we're back. <laughs> we're not going to talk any further on that. Oh, and I have some, some stuff to update you guys on. So if we look at my skills here. 49.4 skill average now that sounds pretty impressive right but it's like 0.2 per skill you're leveling up on average you might notice my fishing is very very close to the next level and that's because i collected the minions off camera how dare me um i did not get a foraging level off camera so that might be <gasps> oh and uh and we have combat we're 98 percent of the way there now, I don't think we're hitting skill average 50 this stream because I'm going to have to get a foraging and or farming level. And that's um, something I'll be doing off camera if that's the case. But we're going to have a fun time. We're going to play a game and we are going to try and get that skill average 50 because, I mean, that's the ultimate flex in Sky Ball. Nowadays, it's skill average 55, but you know, I, I am a sweat at this game, but not that much of a sweat. Okay. hey there we go fishing 33 acquired and then we have our obsidian and quartz minion uh, no let's see how much money we made in the past i think day and a half okay 3.3 mil i'll take it i know selling the bazaar is not the best idea with uh with clay but whatever all right oh it only went up by 0.1 off oh, well that's fun Anyways, uh, combat, we can get to 43. Is that, wait, no. Is that 40? No, 53. 57. I can't freaking do man. I think it's obvious next solo stream, I'm going to have to, like, before the stream starts, like, just forge for a whole level again. That's going to be annoying. So you might notice I've been recovering a decent amount of money. We are at 156 million about, and 100 mil is in the bazaar right now. And that's even including the stupid purchase I made last stream, but didn't do anything about. And that was four recoms and four wisdom, five books. I'm still not 100% certain if it's a good idea to put it on final destination armor, but I think I'm gonna do it for the content because the thing is, right, I know that typically people aren't able to do tier four Enderman without like some ridiculous gear. Um, that's the problem. I don't have, I might have enough to get four recoms and four wisdom fives, but I don't have enough to get, for example, an Ender Dragon pet and a Hyperion. 
or any Necron blade with at least Wither Shield on it. I can't afford that. So we have to make do with what we have. Now, an Atom Split Katana would be nice, but the problem is all voids are going up in price. Therefore, if I look up Katana, they're like 200 mil, right? 214 million coins for the cheapest or lowest bin. That's, ugh. I guess what we're gonna do is, uh, we have no choice. We're gonna recon the armor set. This is kind of fun though. I mean, I wasted so much money. I've never put ultimate enchants on armor that I intend to keep forever before, which is really disappointing. Like this wisdom, I could be putting on my Necron right now and Warden helmet, but I'm putting it on final destination for some reason. I feel better about the recoms than the ultimate enchant, honestly. Last stand is, I don't know if it's bugged. The description is just really um, misleading. It doesn't work the way it says it works, which is really disappointing. Yeah, I need more XP bottles. No, oh, that's such a waste of money. I, the thing is, I want to get to the point where I could do tier fours because the RNG drops are so delicious. There's so many coins. It could be a good investment if I just went all in. <gasps> so yeah. I definitely have a bit harder of a time surviving without the helmet. And my damage is still not as great. It, it's okay. It's not bad. Okay, what is up with this? Uh, what are you wearing? So we are 98.6% of the way to combat, what is it, 56, 57. That should help us a little bit. It's going to add 1% damage. You'd be like, oh, but it adds 4% damage, right? Nope. Once you get to combat 50, it adds less. It only adds one, it only adds one damage per level, which is really, really sad. We can get the combat level. Hey, there we go. Combat 57, 600,000 coins, half a crit chance, 1% damage. Very good. I was told to get like 1.4, 1.5 per skill that you level up. So... I need three more skills level or leveled up. So off camera, I'm going to get a farming level and a foraging level. And then um, I might have to get two foraging levels. Actually, oh, that's going to be terrible. Ah, no, I'm not looking forward to getting two foraging levels. It's like three hours per level now. And your mama is MJK. That was literally like 15 minutes of tier threes. And I made 3 million coins. Hello? Okay. You know what? For right this second, screw going for tier 4s. I just need to kill tier 3s. Because... <laughs> no sphere prices go burr. Jeez. I could use some money. What's that? A solid 9 mil an hour? Let's go. Maybe more? Actually, definitely more. 10, 12 mil? Oh my. Alright. Alright. Hold on. We gotta... <laughs> we gotta make some money, chat. It's time. It's time. Hold on. I need to do the scoreboard thing so I don't get sniped. And that's just how we. Hey, hey, hey. Whoa. Hey, you were like one hit away from death. Don't do this to me. Transmission tuner. <gasps> money. Oh, money. Let's see if this works for the third time. Hey, chat, did you know that transmission tuners can be used on your AOTE? Oh, there's not a lot in the AH. That's a good sign. <laughs> Why'd the price die? <laughs> the price is dead. 150k per. Did everybody just use them on their AOTEs? Is that why? Dang. 30 not again? <laughs> I don't think they're saving it from 150k. They tripled in price. Transmission tuners are the easiest item to market ma manipulate that I've ever seen. I don't know what it is. I think it's the amount of demand. Every single player in Skyblock should buy two transmission tuners. I think that's why they're so easy to manipulate. Because, like, I mentioned it once on stream. And then, like, all it takes is, like, 10 people wanting to fix their AOTEs with it. And then the market's gone. <laughs> just just like that and there's a lot more than 10 people trying to do that i'm trying to think of the most budget way to be able to kill tier fours i really don't know really